And uh, one other thing I'd like to mention about that, because the two are connected, and that is that most people who do A Course in Miracles uh, do not go far enough with it. You know, they don't go all the way with it. They don't engage in what the Course calls vision, or what my teachers uh, call spiritual sight. And that is that ultimately, you start to think of people as being what they really are and where they really are and kind of like overlook the body. You know, the Course uses that word several times. You know, it's like you're overlooking what the body's eyes seem to be showing you. And you're thinking of that person as being spirit, but the Course's kind of spirit is not a partial attribute. It says that spirit is not a partial attribute. So spirit is really perfect oneness, which would be synonymous with the Course's uh, definition of heaven. You know, the awareness of perfect oneness. And if you think about people as not being limited to that little speck of time and space, and instead think of them as being not just part of it, but all of it, uh, nothing less than God, exactly the same as God, then according to the, the Course's great rule of the mind that it gives you, it says, uh, as you see him, you'll see yourself. And that's because of the you know, way that the mind works, which I, I don't really want to get into today because that's a long discussion. But because of the way that the mind works, it is true that as you see him, you will see yourself. And if you're thinking of them as being exactly the same as God, and if you think that way often enough and long enough, eventually you're going to experience your own divinity, which is exactly how Jesus did 2,000 years ago, by seeing it everywhere without exception, it has to apply to everybody or else it's not perfect oneness. Yeah. But if you can do that, you're going to save light years on your spiritual path. Oh, my God, Mary. Okay. Oh, I'm calling you Mary. Mary Magdalene. <laughs> that, is, that is a nice Freudian. Um, I, I, just, I just understood why it is so justified to call your brother your savior. I mean, that's one of the lines I, I really hated, one of the concepts in the yeah. course that I really hated because how can that bastard, you know, tell me who I am mm -hmm. uh, right. and, and save me from whatever. But seeing him, like you just said, the vision, you know, to see him as the Christ, which is justified because he's the same as I am that makes him my savior. And I understand and that's what, what the holy relationship to me is all about, that I, I can't, I don't have the chance to see that without him. So my gratitude should be like, you know, over, over, the, over the roof because yeah. he is my savior. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's not easy. You know, like I don't want uh, Donald Trump to be my savior. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, you know now I'm. It's almost like oh yeah. Who is to, who is Donald Trump? I don't know, but I'm thinking you know, I, I, I got to forgive that bastard. Yeah, you know, and uh, at the same time, after you know a certain amount of uh, you know being on the spiritual path, you, you start to get used to the idea. Well, first of all, they're not even really there. <laughs> Secondly, what you're doing is you're overlooking uh, something that is false in exchange for something that is true, knowing that whatever you think about another person is really just going to you because it's really just one of us, even though it doesn't look that way. Mm. It's really just one of us. So it really is true that as you see him, you will still see yourself. And then I can think, okay, uh, if I can see him as being what he really is instead of what he thinks he is. Because you know, most people, of course, they think they're a body. They think that that's really them. And if I can think of them as being what they really are, which is all of it, then it's really just going to me. So the Course says in that final section, you know, choose once again. Uh, it says, choose once again what you would have him be, knowing that every decision you make will establish your own identity, wow. as you will see it and believe it is. So if they're guilty, you're guilty, and you'll believe that you're guilty. But if they're innocent, it means that you're innocent, and eventually you will believe that you're innocent. Mm 